Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. One of the downsides of pivot tables is that they don't automatically update when the source data changes. You have to remember to refresh them. And if you don't, that could lead to misinformation and incorrect decision making. So in this video, I'll show you how to automate the refresh. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. I'm using Excel on the Mac in this video, but it's almost the same on Windows, and I will point out any differences. Talking of the Mac, if you're a Mac user, I strongly suggest that if you haven't seen it, you watch last week's video before trying this. Otherwise, you'll hit a critical error, which you won't be able to get past. There's a link to it in the description below. Anyway, on to the demo. Here I have two pivot tables, both based on this data, and the data is in a table called sales. I want to ensure that both pivot tables are automatically updated whenever the source data changes. To do this, I'll create a macro, and the macro will be very simple. In fact, it will have a single line of code in it. It's that simple. I don't want the user to have to click a button to run the macro. I want the macro to run automatically. To do this, I have to select an event and attach the macro to the event. An event is an action performed by a user that triggers the running of a specific macro. In this example, I want the macro to run when the user moves from the sales data sheet, having updated the data, to the pivot sheet. So I'll attach the macro to what's called the worksheet deactivate event of the sales data sheet. The worksheet deactivate event runs every time a user leaves a specific sheet and selects a different sheet. This means that the user can make the changes to the source data and as soon as they select the pivot sheet, the macro runs and the pivot tables get updated. To create the macro, I need to open the VBA editor. And the easiest way to do this, and this works on both Mac and Windows, is to use the keyboard shortcut Alt and F11, or in the case of the Mac, Option and F11. Once in the VBA editor, double click on the Sheet 1 module. A module is a container for macros, and Sheet 1 is the module associated with the worksheet called Sales Data, which is the one with the pivot table source in it. Now, if you're on Windows, click the left hand drop down at the top and select Worksheet. Excel generates the start and end lines for a macro, but it's not the right macro. It's the selection change macro. And this runs whenever the cursor is moved from one cell to another within the sales data worksheet. I don't want our macro to run every time that happens. So I'll delete the macro, but not yet. Before I can do that, I need to select the deactivate event. And I do that from the drop down on the right hand side. If you're on a Mac, as I said, I suggest you implement the solution that I gave in last week's video. Either way, you'll now have a code stub, as it's called, for the worksheet deactivate event. The code that I need to write for this macro, as I said, is very simple. It's one line of code and you write it between the sub and end sub. And it's active workbook dot refresh all. This is the equivalent of selecting data refresh all from the ribbon. So I'll close the VBA editor down. Just click the cross at the top left, or if you're on Windows, the cross at the top right. And let's see if it works. What I'll do is I'll go and update some of this data. First of all, I'll edit an existing record. I know I can't really edit this data because it's historic sales data, but this is just a demo. So let's change the total revenue for the first record to 6,000. So there is a significant difference. Then jump over to the pivot sheet and it has updated Strawberry and Atlanta automatically. Let's go back to sales data, change that back to 115, go back to the pivots and automatically without me doing anything else, it's updated the two pivot tables. 
Let's go and add another row of data. What I'll do, I will just copy a couple of rows of data, paste a couple of times, just so that we have more data in this table. Jump over to the pivot sheet and it has updated the pivot tables automatically. Well, I hope that's been useful. As always, thank you for watching. If you found the video useful, please give it a like. And if you'd like to stay up to date with what I'm up to, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also sign up to my free newsletter, which you can do at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.